Hello everybody and welcome back. My name's Ryan from Skinfest Plastering and today we're taking a look at my filthy trowels. Now today we're testing out the myth that bicarbonate of soda, otherwise known as baking powder, actually helps clean trowels. And I've never done this before, so let's give it a go. They say if you take care of your tools, then your tools will take care of you. And obviously these have been a little bit neglected, so today we give them a bit of TLC. Now here is the baking powder. Uh, this one is food grade, I don't think you need that, but thanks Amazon. So chuck your tools in a tub and completely cover them in water. They do need to be completely submerged if you want to completely clean them. And then you want to start chucking in your baking powder. Now, I don't really know how much to use. There wasn't really any specifications, so I thought half of this little bag would be probably all right. Then you want to leave it for a few hours, go do something else for a bit, and when you come back, you've allowed plenty of time for the baking powder to really work its way into the plaster and have a good soak. So now we're just going to get a scraper and give all the trowels a little scrape off. Make sure we get all the all the soggy baking powder soaked plaster off there. And you're basically just exposing the hardened plaster underneath for when we put it back in. Just a quick note, none of these trowels have wooden handles or cork handles and so we're fully submerged them but if they were to have cork or wood handles then just be careful because I'm not 100% sure whether they would be suitable. So once you've got it all scraped off, take the trowels and just pop them back inside the water for about another two hours or so. Two hours later, take them all out again, give them a shake off and as you can see this time they're coming up a lot cleaner than the first time. So now you just basically want to scrape them off until clean. Now here I just used a, uh, the same scraper just to scrape around the edges and then I had a little small tool which I used just to get into all the, the finicky parts. And then after that I used a little bit of wet sandpaper just to give it a rub down to make it come up really nice. Okay. So a quick reminder of what the tools look like before we put them in the water. And it turns out that baking soda and water is definitely an effective way of cleaning trowels. So that's the video, thank you very much for watching, please like the video, subscribe, leave any comments down below if you've got any questions, and that's it, so just um, enjoy the rest of this outro, goodbye.